Hey guys, it's Lefty back again with another vlog, and today I want to talk to you about advertising and bullshit. Uh, the two of those words, or those two words, are usually synonymous with one another. Uh, if you are any kind of uh, uh, good, well, good, but you know, good is used loosely, I guess. If you're any kind of good consumer or skeptic, you should always try to find uh, at least a little bit of bullshit in uh, in any kind of advertising campaign, because usually there is some. And believe me, there's a lot of advertising out out there, and uh, and and if you, if you turn a skeptical eye to it, even just take a statistics course and then you'll realize, holy crap, a lot of these statistics that they show in ads are bullshit. They don't mean anything. But um, I, I, I ran across a, a, a pretty egregious example of it yesterday, and it was reinforced again today when I went to go buy glasses. That's right. I do wear glasses. I have them right here. I'm going to do a video, another video showing them off uh, because I am obviously wearing my contacts now. I need corrective vision enhancements or my vision needs to be corrected in some way. I usually wear contacts, but uh, but I bought these bad boys right here. Here they are. I'll, I'll just put them on for a bit. Let's see. And uh, Oh, my God. Oh, oh. okay. All right. Should Should not do that with the contacts in but uh but yes i um, get a headache now Ugh. that was dumb but anyway i was buying these bad boys um from a company vision works which is just a you know just a standard uh retail glasses place not a mom and pop store by any stretch of the imagination so anyway i go in there i brought katie along which by the way tips for guys or girls out there uh bring your significant other usually it's a good idea to bring your significant other along for purchases like that because you look through the glasses they are when they are looking at you they are always looking at the glasses um so it's good to to get their input um on on frames and whatnot and, and just things like that but and it, you know it's a, it's a cool little trip it's a day trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get to go do this. So anyway, I found these glasses. Uh, they're about a hundred dollars, and there are a lot more expensive frames out there in the in the store. And I'm glad I didn't pick any of those because as we were, I, I just selected these. And I said, okay. I went to the lady that was helping me. I said, all right, well, let's let's talk turkey here. I gotta, I gotta. Of course, I gotta buy lenses. I have my prescription, and uh, and I know there's like coatings and stuff. And I do a lot of video work in front of lights. And of course, I talked myself into when we were pricing it out. I talked myself into the most expensive lenses they offer. And I figure, all right, well, it's my vision, and it's it's a it's a sound investment, especially for what I do. Uh, I use my eyes a lot, and in, in well, everybody does, but. It's a sound investment to to protect my eyes so that, that my astigmatism doesn't get worse, and um, so I, I I had the these were the the frames were a hundred dollars, and it turns out she said, all right, well we're gonna price you out, but you may need to pick out a second pair because we're running a buy one get one free promotion. And so you pay for these one pair of glasses, you get a second pair and lenses. She said and lenses absolutely free, and I thought, oh crap. I am glad, actually, that we didn't go to Lens Crafters, Katie, because there was a snowstorm and we didn't want to go as far to Lens Crafters, so we saw VisionWorks like, oh crap, er, stop here, and so oh crap, so buy one get one free. That's awesome. I'll have I'll have a nice new pair of glasses and a backup pair, brand new, absolutely free for the price of a single set of glasses. Awesome, and so we were pricing it out, and uh, the, again, I said the frames were a hundred dollars. I had the most expensive lenses possible, um, so they were a hundred dollars each for each eye. And I was like, oh, crap. All right, well, and then how much is the, the non-reflective coating because of all the lights I got going on here? There's another $100, $150. So uh, she priced it out. It, we were looking at about $450. I was like, oh, crap. I, no, 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 I am not paying that. I am not paying $450 for one set. I don't care that I get a second one free. $450 for one set of glasses is, is, is no, no way. And keep in mind, of course, there was not a times two by everything. I wasn't paying for two frames, two sets of, uh, of, of left and right lenses, and two sets of coating. It was one each. She priced out one pair of glasses that was $450. And she said, well, buy one, get one. And I looked, I was like, oh, crap. I, and I kind of looked at Katie, and I did a little, little uh, one of these. And, and she, the, the sales lady, I was very intuitive, picked up on it. She said, oh, well, don't worry. Boop. Once keystroke, I can take 40% off of that. And uh, and the price was brought down to, uh, I, I think, without ta whatever, $250 or something. So was, immediately I, I said, oh, boom, done. All right, we're good. Let's go. Give me the glasses. And I had to wait a day for the lenses to get fitted. And I came back, it, it didn't strike me until after we had left <laughs> that I realized, hmm, wait a minute. So up until the point where I looked at the price and went, ooh, did a little bit of a double take, the, the price was what it was. But at the drop of a hat, 
40% was taken off. It was so quick that I, I could see on the little the little system that they had there it was very it was very old by the way it looked like freaking word perfect from back in the in the MS DOS days um I looked at the system. There was an option. It was one single keystroke, boom, to give them a 40% discount. It's not like she typed it in, like she calculated, oh, well, I can help you out, give you 40% off. It was in the system, a, a very clear option, take 40% off the off the total price, and bam, give it to these, to, you know, give it to, this is, the, this is the new price. And I realized that's not really buy one, get one free. I realized only afterwards that, that we had left the store and Katie and I were sitting down for lunch, I realized, holy crap. They wanted to charge me for a single pair. They wanted to charge me what would normally be the price for two pairs. But when I said, oh, crap, well, I don't have the money for two pairs, they said, don't worry, we'll take 40% off and charge you just for the one pair. But, you, of course, you only get one pair. You don't, you don't qualify for the buy one, get one free anymore. Then it's not really buy one, get one free. And I bring this up, and I brought it up again to the manager today when I went to go pick them up, and she didn't, she didn't get it. And I wasn't, I wasn't angry. And I'm not angry. And I don't want free things. I don't want, I don't feel wronged. It wasn't really personal. It was just, those words mean less now. This is, I think, such an egregious violation of any kind of, of, of good faith dealing. Where, where I, I, I know you're trying to, to screw me just a little bit, somebody selling me something, and I'm trying to screw you a little bit too to, to pay less than I probably should, but we can kind of understand where each other, where each side is coming from. But when you double the price, the single price of, 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 of something, of something you're selling and saying, okay, well, it's going to cost whatever, double, you know, 2x, but it's buy one, get one free. So you get another X. But if you can't pay 2x the price, well, we'll take 40 to 50% off and then just sell you one. If, if it is so ready, if, if, if such a, especially if it is in the system already and the discount is so readily available, then it's not really buy one, get one free. And it's, it's, it is disingenuous. It is the very definition of disingenuous to start out a relationship like that, a customer, a client relationship where I'm buying something from you, but you are automatically trying to bullshit me. And the and the manager today at the store didn't get it. And I was, again, I, I'm not mad. I'm not angry. But I just, those words mean less to me now. Just a little bit less. The whole the whole practice of buy one get one free. The whole original meaning of buy one get one free. Of let's let's we've got an excess of stuff. Let's get people in the door with this sale. Maybe we'll lose a little bit of money on it, or maybe we'll take a little bit less profit. But the extra butts in the door will more than make up for what we what we have to pay out in the buy one get one deal. But because of this this thing, and I know and I know people are going to say all advertising is bullshit. It's all bullshit. This to me is egregious. This here, what I experienced is too much. Way too much. There's a there's a level that I'm willing to deal with, of course, up to 50% off or all, all those little the, the the little ad advertising speak. They where they just kind of fine print you into you weren't getting as good of a deal as you thought. But to artificially inflate inflate the price of a single item more than or about a hundred percent and call it buy one get one free and then immediately be willing to take off forty to fifty percent when the when I when I double take at the price. You're degrading the words themselves, the entire practice, the phrase of buy one, get one free now to me means just a little bit less. And I guarantee you, and I'm bringing this up to you because I guarantee you that when you go out into the world, when you start buying things or when you next go out to buy something, look for the, look for crap like that, because I didn't think it I didn't think it was real at first because it took me so long to realize, oh, my goodness, that's what that was. That was such an egregious violation of, of, of just any kind of uh, just logic. And, and what are you trying to do to people? You're doubling the price and then saying they're getting something for free. It's not buy one, get one free. You are degrading and devaluing the entirety. The, the words themselves mean less to me now. So be on the lookout when the next time you go out to buy things like that. Because apparently, 
I thought I, I thought these were horror stories. I thought they, they, there's of course everybody's trying to screw everybody just a little bit, but nobody goes to really that extent. That's cartoon, you know, twisting wax into a mustache evil doer that does something like that in a, in a bad cartoon. Um, but apparently it's real and it's out there. And be on the lookout for it. Don't get screwed by it. And I, I it, it bothers me because. People are so glib about using and abusing phrases and practices and even words to the point where the, the, the phrases, the practices, and the words start to mean less and less and less and less. And is that a consumer problem? Is it a capitalist problem? I don't know, but that's what I see, and I don't think it's good. Anyway, guys, that's my time. i got to get out of here. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. I'm out.